The northern Czech town of Chastava is battling to save 52 hectares of local forest. The Interior Ministry says the town should hand the land over to Poland, but the local mayor is rejecting that decision. He states no one asked the local authorities or the inhabitants for their opinion. We're against the idea of passing the land to Poland because of three reasons. First, this terrain is important to us. Second, historically, it has always been part of the Czech Republic. And third, based on old but still valid agreements, we came to the conclusion that the Czech Republic does not owe any land to Poland. That means the border should not be changed in any way. The dispute dates back more than 100 years. An agreement in 1958 was supposed to have settled the issue. One Polish historian elaborates on the irony of the argument. It started when the two countries gained independence in 1918, and it appeared that both capitals, Prague and Warsaw, wished for the same territories. We had a few military conflicts, we argued during the whole interwar period and later after World War II. It seemed that in 1958 the border was fixed. I would like to offer a reminder that these lands used to be German and now two Slavic nations are arguing over them. Charstava's mayor says he's uncovered documents which prove the forest does not need to be given to Poland. He has sent them to the prime minister and president. He's confident the land will stay on his side of the border. I said, when the Czech-Polish Border Commission gathers, I will be very happy if they analyze all the old documents determining that the Czech Republic is not indebted to Poland. If it does not happen and the Commission decides that this land should be returned, the decision would have to be approved by our Parliament and they would never do that. Chastava residents say a Polish open-cast mine nearby is another reason to hold on to the disputed territory. They fear the mine could expand into their town if they lose control of the forest.